Good evening and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily if you're new here and today I have a huge ASOS try on haul for you. So I'll link everything in the description box as I do usually and watch down there if you haven't already. Please do make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future hauls. And don't forget subscribing to my channel is completely free and you can unsubscribe at any point. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. So with summer holidays fast approaching, I thought I would order this. The Esme Oversized Beach Shirt. I got this in a UK 8 and it was £25. To pair with this, I ordered the matching Esme Oversized Beach Shorts. I got these again in a UK 8 and these were also £25 totaling at £50 for this outfit. Even though these are classed as like beach shirt and shorts, you could definitely wear these for other occasions, like for just a casual summer's day um, with a bikini underneath. You could even mix and match both of these items and you could definitely wear this shirt with some jeans or something um, to look a little bit more formal. I love a blue pinstripe. I think it's such a classic. Um, and this will look a very effortless outfit. So let's try it on. Here is the outfit on and both pieces fit really nicely. Um, I would recommend your normal size in both items. The shirt does come extra long, obviously with it being oversized, but if you are wearing this as a bikini cover up or something like that, you could even get away with just wearing the shirt. However, I do like the look of both the shorts with this shirt. Um, I've obviously just kept the bottom half of this open just to make it that little bit more figure flattering um, and so the shirt's not overpowering. But I love this sort of look. I think it's so easy just to chuck on and it's also super comfortable as well. Piece. I thought I'd show you these because it ties in really nicely with what I was saying about this shirt. Um, they are the ASOS Weekend Collective Baggy Fit Jeans. I got these in a UK 6 and they were £38. Firstly, I am obsessed with this colour blue. I think it's so nice and gorgeous for these type of jeans. They look like they are going to fit so flattering and I love it when jeans have this little badge at the back. I don't know what it is, it's such a simple addition, but I do think it makes jeans look that little bit more premium and more expensive. So let's try these on. Here is the outfit on and these jeans fit so nicely and come to a really good length as well. Just look at them, I am obsessed. Um, I actually would recommend sizing down in these jeans. I usually range from a 6 to an 8 and I did go with the size 6 and there's still plenty of room. They're very comfortable and they are super functional as well. Um, look at the back logo. Do you see what I mean about making a jean look that little bit more premium? Um, and this is the exact same shirt that I was wearing but you can see how versatile that it is. You can style it in many different ways and also mix and match it to create lots of outfits. I'm super excited about this one. It is the Fort and Reckless Satin Oversized Shirt. I got this in a UK 6 and it was £38. To pair with this, I picked up these. Fort and Reckless Satin Wide Leg Trousers. I got these in a UK 6 and they were £35, totaling at £73 for this outfit. Fort and Reckless is one of them brands that you know you're going to get some really high quality pieces with. Look at that material, it's such a good quality. I love that metallic shine to it as well. Um, it's super eye catching and it feels so luxurious. So let's try it on. 
Here it is on and this outfit is unbelievably silky. It's so soft on the skin and I could see myself wearing this even just as loungewear in the house because it feels so good on the skin. Um, I've just styled this as a French tuck. Um, it does have pockets as well and both pieces do fit really nicely. I love these sort of outfits because you can wear them to any different occasion. So I could pair some heels with this and feel more dressy, or you could even just wear it as a bit more casual to a brunch or something like that. But again, the color is stunning. So I'm very happy with this one. My next piece will be one for those holiday goers. So if you've got a holiday coming up anytime soon, this dress has your evening wear covered. Here is the mango colour block ruched midi dress. I got this in an extra small and it was £55.99. So in the summer, I am a massive colour person. I just think they look so striking and eye-catching. And these colours are so me as well. I think they're super classy. Um, also, I love the way it's sort of a tiered effect to this dress. Um, and this ruched top, I think, will look very flattering. Um, it has a really nice back and these cami straps are adjustable as well. So you'll be able to fit it to your body shape. Let's try it on. This dress is exactly as I envisioned it. It fits so well and also comes to a really good length. I'm not even gonna say much more about this because you can even just see yourself how freaking cute it is. Um, it is also made with a really good quality material. So yeah, all round, my favorite piece so far. Next up we have this, ASOS Design High Apex Midi Dress. I got this in a UK 6 and it was £26. So now that I have it in person, the material does look and feel quite cheap on this one and also in some lights, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does look a little bit see-through. So we'll see if it still does when it's on, hopefully not. I do love this colour and it does also have the same cami adjustable strap so you can adjust it to your body shape. But let's try it on. Here is the dress on and if I'm being completely honest, I really don't like this one. The quality of the material is just so cheap. And I think especially because I've been trying such good quality pieces on today, it feels even worse. Um, the chest area doesn't fit where it's meant to, but the rest of the dress does. So I wouldn't want you to size up or anything for the chest, um, because I think then the dress would look a bit too baggy. It does come to a really good length, but yeah, for me, I can't wait to get this one off. So that does conclude my ASOS try on haul for today. I really hope you liked that one as much as I did. I will link everything in the description box down below as I do usually. And watch down there if you haven't already, please do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another video. And don't forget, subscribing to my channel is completely free and you can unsubscribe at any point. But Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.